I have never played a motorbike game before. Clearly. My first moments upon seeing a green light involved doing a wheelie and landing square on my ass. TT Isle of Man 2 does a good job of breaking you in fast to what is certainly the pinnacle of difficulty in motorsport. TT Isle of Man 2 is broken up into three components. Challenges, where you ride towards an objective such as distance or scoring points. Races, where you race a circuit against other bikers. And TT, where you are running a time trial on a course with several other riders. Ultimately, the goal of each feels the same, where winning is based off of getting between two points as quickly as possible and surviving. Though I don't have much time riding motorcycles, and never at the speeds on display here in TT Alamant 2, I must say the game feels fantastic. It has one of the best senses of speed I've ever experienced in any racer. It feels right. And generally, what you think should be happening based on your input happens on the screen. The game is easy to pick up and take off with. This game is absurdly difficult. You'll spend a ton of time in this game wrecking. Look at that curb the wrong way? Wrecked. Think about driving on the grass? Wrecked. Moved over a bump too quick? Wrecked. Wrecked, 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 wrecked. The races are also very lengthy. So a late wreck in a tight race can cost you a ton of time. This game is punishingly hard. It doesn't even care that you're already crying. Now, usually games that are this tough aren't exactly fun. But think of this more as the Dark Souls of Motorsport. It beats you up, but it does it in a way that feels fair. You'll know why you messed up the second you messed up. Fortunately, this game ignores one of the darker points of mortality the real-life version suffers. And after a wreck, you reappear on your bike, ghosted for a few moments, and you rejoin the race. As usual with these types of games, the main issue with the multiplayer is there just isn't anyone ever online playing. However, if you have friends you want to torture with this fine game, there is a controller passing hot seat mode. To me, that makes up for any other shortcomings in my book. Brilliant. The graphics in this game look gorgeous. It has the same sheen to it we saw last year in WRC 8. Peloton has arrived and their products show it. More importantly, I didn't encounter any bugs. No weird glitching, no tearing, no drop frames. It runs like a dream on my dated i7 processor and GTX 1070 graphics card on maxed out settings. Well done. This is one to get. I tend to look hard for faults, and this game really doesn't have anything so glaring that it needs to be pointed out. I'll be playing this game for years to come, or until the next Isle of Man game is released. You'll be happy to add this to your collection. I hope you enjoyed this review and found it informative and entertaining. It means the world to see your feedback in the comments, a like or dislike, and most of all, a sub to the channel. If you want to join our community, there is a link for Discord in the channel banner. Thanks again, and we hope to see you all around again soon.